I'm creating some delicious nachos. I'm gonna grab some potted meat. But I'm gonna do one more like right there and that'll be enough. That's looking good. Well, guys, we're back. As has been the case before, just as soon as I thought the King Cobra cooking rabbit hole could not go any deeper, I have once again been proven wrong. And today, we might just be witnessing his finest work yet. Now, if you don't know who King Cobra is at this point, well, then I don't know what rock you've been living under, but apparently it's a pretty heavy one. King Cobra is an internet personality like none other. Now, uh, if you were to ask me what does King Cobra do, I'm not really sure I could give you a good answer. Basically, he just goes about his day-to-day Day, records it and then uploads it to his YouTube channel, which on the surface doesn't sound very interesting, but my friend, you've never met King Cobra. Now, I've actually started to watch this guy in my free time because I've had a lot of viewers of him tell me to dive deeper into the rabbit hole, so I did. And my god, this man is an enigma of humankind. If you ever have some free time, go browse his channel. It's just the most mundane comedy ever, and it's absolutely hilarious. I don't even think this guy really realizes how funny he is, and it just makes it ten times better. But we're not here to talk about the ins and outs of the King Cobra channel. We're here to talk about boiled egg and potted meat nachos, boys and girls. Yeah, it's about to get gross. Now look, I know I give this disclaimer a lot as a joke, but like seriously, if you're eating, you might want to finish it real quick or put it to the side because uh, this is not the most appetizing video, okay? Look, just don't say I didn't warn you. Let's begin. Please subscribe. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, back at it with another video. You bet. I'm creating some delicious nachos. It's gonna have all cheese, potted meats. Oh, some pork rinds and some hard boiled eggs. We're gonna take, yeah, the take those hard boiled eggs and then boil it in beer. Stick them in the bowl and cool them off. Beer, boiled eggs, potted meat, and pork rinds. If this isn't a real man's meal, I'm not sure what is. This is like what a cartoon lumberjack would eat. What up, YouTube? It's nacho time. Yes. We're going to make our dank nachos. We'll start off with a layer of our spicy nacho Doritos. Okay, so on my first viewing of this video, I did not quite notice the sheer amount of potted meat in the background here. I only saw these three cans stacked up here, but there is a bare minimum of six cans of potted meat. And knowing Mr. Cobra like I do, I think unfortunately every single one of these cans are going into these nachos. I'm gonna grab some potted meat. Thanks, Billy, for the potted meat. Appreciate it, man. I want to dollop the uh, potted meat all over the top of our uh, nacho cheese and hot sauce, yes yeah, please. Alright, so if you don't know what potted meat is, or if you've just never had it, basically it's just a bunch of meat scraps put together and stuck in a can. That's why it's called potted meat and not potted beef or chicken or turkey, because meat is about as specific as you can get. Now, some people love it. Um, I am not one of those people. I used to have it occasionally because I go camping with a friend who's in the military and he loves it. I guess because he's used to eating cardboard and crayons. But to me, it smells like cat food and it tastes like grease, so uh, not something I normally reach for in a grocery grocery store, and I think that is the general consensus. Slap on some of that bacon ranch for Hidden Valley. Mm-hmm. Those are good looking nachos. Look at it. Yes. I honestly think I'd rather be sent to a forest and be made to like fashion my own weapon and hunt my own food and eat it without the aid of fire before I ate this. I mean, this genuinely looks terrible. I do not know why a single person would ever willingly eat this. The fact that this man is like relatively skinny is insane to me because it looks like he eats like this every single day of his life. Then we're going to add our spicy buffalo pork grinds to the top of our, our mixture. Just 
chips and goodness. Push that down just a wee bit. At this point, you might as well just start sprinkling some asbestos on these bad boys and eat it with a glass of lead paint. I mean, are we just trying to speed run making the most unhealthy dish known to man? I mean, we've got meat scraps in oil, fried pig skin, three gallons of ranch, some Doritos, eight cups of cheese, and we haven't even added the beer boiled eggs yet. Surely this violates some sort of law. So now, we're gonna garnish with our hard boiled eggs. Boiled them in cooled water so they can peel faster. Boil them, then cool them off in cold water so they peel faster. Yeah. But I'm gonna do one more like right there and that'll be enough. That's looking good. Ah, uh, yes, the classic garnish of a dozen boiled eggs, just how Mama used to make. I don't really think you can classify an ingredient as a garnish, Mr. Cobra, when there is more of that ingredient than anything else in the dish. So I'm gonna do a light sprinkle of cheese on top of our hard boiled eggs. Just a little itty bitty sprinkle on top. Now we're gonna smother it in that bacon ranch. That is what your stomach is gonna sound like after eating this. There is no way a human can survive eating this. We need to do away with the prison system. We just found something so much better. If you commit a crime, you have to eat this and then run five miles. Crime rates will drop to zero. Should we hit it with some of that sweet honey barbecue sauce? And then pop it in the microwave? Just a light drizzle of barbecue, you don't need a whole lot. Making the prettiest looking nachos you ever did see. Look at these delicious bastards. Oh my God, stop. And we're gonna microwave that at a very low and slow temperature of 10 second bursts. 10 second burst? Cobra, you need to throw this into a volcano. Do you see the amount of food you have on this plate? What do you think 10 seconds is gonna do? Heat up one tenth of the barbecue sauce you got on this bad boy? There is so much food on this plate, you're better off using an oven. Unless you've got some kind of new microwave that temporarily sends your food to the sun, this is not gonna do anything for you, buddy. You got me a fork. I'm gonna grab one of them hard boiled eggs first. Might have to go in the microwave a little bit longer. Mm. She isn't quite melted on top. Strange enough, I don't care. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. Oh, yes. Can you imagine how much easier picking out dinners or like the restaurant you want to go to would be if you had this man's palate? This man has got to be at least 10% vulture. This is the palate of a scavenging animal. Like, I would honestly not be surprised if in a few years we start seeing this man just eat objects. Instead of nachos, we just see him go to town on a thing of aluminum foil. This man is turning into a raccoon. Dude, the barbecue sauce... That complements the spiciness of the habanero sauce. It's there, but it's not smacking you in the face. It's like, oh, hey, I'm here. What's up? Really flavorful heat. YouTube, these nachos are swinging. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to eat the entire thing. Because I'm not that hungry. I'm sorry, what? How do you make something like this while not being hungry? No, that actually makes this so much worse. If you haven't eaten in like a day or two and you make this out of desperation, okay, I can forgive that. But if you're not even hungry and you make this, that means that your normal brain tells you that this is a good meal. That's insane. That means this man's brain is just on hyena mode 24-7. Godspeed, Mr. Cobra. Well, guys, what are your thoughts on this? I think this is the worst thing we've seen to make so far. The burger was gross, but it was 
really just a whole lot of cheese that made it gross. And then the Mountain Dew boiled eggs. I mean, okay, that's that's pretty obvious why that's bad. But this? This is just nasty for too many reasons. Like, every ingredient put together was just gross. There was nothing redeeming about this entire thing. I would say I don't think Cobra can top this, but uh, I know better. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.